Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we decided to come to a little fishing town called Denua. It's about a 10 minute, 15 minute drive north for us. Uh, we were here at the beginning of the year when there was um, snow in some of the mountains across the water and Aaron there. Um, and it was, uh, it was a pretty rough day. And we just snapped off a couple of images just as we were leaving. And then on reviewing the images, the composition was really nice. So today we've come back to try and replicate that and see if we can better it. Um, we've got a few things going against us today though, as the sun's bright, it's in the middle of the day. Aaron's a little hazy and there's no snow in it like it was last time. But primarily what it's going to be is a big standing stone with a sea coming round about it with a nice slow shutter. That's, that's what I aim today. Um, We've got here nice and early so we can scout out our composition where we think it's going to be best to hit it but it really does depend on just how high that tide comes up. Looking at the beach, um, it's been quite high the last couple of tides by the looks of it so I'm hoping it does does reach quite high because it'll just take out any of the, the little rocks that line around about the, the kind of big stack that we want. There's also um, quite a bit of seaweed around the base of the rock so I'm hoping that the water will come in and cover that up um, because that can be a bit of a, a bit of a mess in your image and it can be taken away in Photoshop but it can be quite a bit of a pain in the backside to, um, to do in Photoshop and it can take quite a while depending on how messy it is. Tony's currently getting some photographs of the castle that's here um, and he just snaps away until we're ready to go. Well it's a nice day. We're hoping it'll work. The beach is busy. There's people flying drones up over the castle. People climbing over the rocks. It's nice to see after uh, after lockdown, people getting out and about again. So I will see what today brings. I may decide to use the um, 7200, come back a bit and zoom in. Um, and then later on I might decide to put the wide angle 70 to 40 on and get a bit closer pointing the camera down and lens down which will make that rock look really quite big I'm really quite low as you can see where the camera is now to the stone and the reason I'm doing that is the lower you are looking up it will make the, make the uh, subject look a bit bigger so let's go and see if we can get this photo Right, okay, I think um, I think that was a bust. Um, don't know until we get the images on, but we'll see what we've got. Between Tony and I, we we'll probably do have something. It's not what I envisaged. And as I said before, the, the water's not as high as what it was. It's not as rough. Um, and to top it all off, the last image we had up here, there was snow on the top of Aaron, on the top of Gold Fell, which just kind of finished the composition off. But hopefully we've... Um, we have got something of it. Um, we've done a couple of panels each and we've taken images from all sides so we'll need to see. Um, most of the settings were between f11 and f16 um, for Tony and I and we both had 10 stop filters on and we both took uh, images without the 10 stop filters on so we'll process them and we'll see which ones we like. Um, and uh, you can see what you think. Now we're just going to jump across uh, the other side of the castle and last time we were here there was some kind of crazy shaped rocks, kind of mounds. Um, so if the water's up to that height they should be quite quite nice for some sort of minimalist shoot 
Um, but again, we'll go and see because um, we only seen them in the passing last time we were here. Right, okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so we have we came round the back of the castle, we came down the man-made walk down the cliff there to the scene that we were trying to get to. Um, it's nice, we want the, well ideally we'd like the, uh, the sea a bit higher and um, leading into these rocks. Um, but this is all going to be about the details, it's going to be about the big wide kind of vista that we're looking for here. So with them close intimate shots. There's a lot going on in them rocks with little kind of pools of water, the scars going through the rocks, some of them are different colour, so it's really quite nice, but it can be quite hard to get the, the right composition that works because you've got lines, you've got circles, all different shapes um, and different colours and textures. So we've got a lot going on here. Um, but our first kind of impressions are it's pretty good, so we think we will get something. So fingers crossed. Let's see if we do. If we do, here's the images.